Hi, my mom calls me Carla, but at Rolla, I'm known as Booty Quake. And officially, my name is Lucy, but most people know me as Lulu Demon. We are the co-founders of Rolla Skate Club. It is a empowered community of badass women on wheels. We operate a club here in Vancouver where we do live in-person roller skating classes and programs and live events. And now we are also an online training company. <laughs> So I co-founded Roller Skate Club uh, with my friend Lucy in 2018, and uh, that's my main uh, gig right now. We normally have around 15 to 20 people attend our classes on roller skates. We're really lucky to have this awesome space that's really big. You can skate around, we play games, we do challenges, and it's really a lot of fun. South Wales Premier as the nation battles this new COVID nightmare. Christmas has been... Yeah, I mean, there was that day when all the press conferences were happening, the Prime Minister's on the front steps. Obviously, we had, a, like, as founders, we were just, like, freaking out, figuring out, okay, how do we do this? We definitely had the oh shit moment with COVID where we had to reimagine what a business looked like with roller skating classes that we couldn't actually do in person. But we've had to totally find a way to replace the revenue that we were getting from our event side. Uh, so that is um, part of why we turned to um, producing online programs and online courses. One of the first things that we did was just to give people something to like brighten their day. We would have like weekly meetups on Zoom where we would just hang out and fix our skates or learn how to stretch or just to really keep everyone in the community. And then we gradually started adding on skate classes. So we modified our classes so that you could do them in your living room. So we called it, called it living room Rolla. For us, creating an online course just made sense, right? even if they're not physically able to come to our classes, and also to reach more people outside of Vancouver. We had a few specific requirements that we knew we needed. So we knew we were gonna do finite length courses, like our one-on-one six-week course, and we also knew that we were going to need to use it as a membership site. Thinkific was set up to be able to deliver both ways, um, and we also are really excited to work with a company that is also Vancouver-based like ourselves. As this was our first online course, we looked at what had worked over the years in person, and we took our best-selling, most successful course, which is our Roller Skating 101 course. This is one of our most popular courses um, that we would deliver in person here in Vancouver. And translated that into an online version. Uh, we went into our now empty fitness facility with a videographer and we filmed all the stuff that, you know, us talking to the camera and demonstrating that we normally would have done. And uh, we got it all edited and turned into, um, you know, a series of lessons. What's great is that actually having the online offering means that our in-person people, while they may not be able to come as many times a week as they used to before COVID, they can also supplement their learning with our online programs. We've been able to have people come and join us for those classes from so many different places in the world. We have a lot of people from California, from Texas, from New York. Indonesia, Australia, all sorts of crazy places. I am a coach. I love helping people with their physical body and, and figuring out how to master a skill. So watching that person be like, oh, that was it, I got it, you know? So that for me, I really love. The thing that resonates with me the most is some of those stories of struggle. You know, at the beginning of our classes, we like to ask people what brings you here their first time in. And she said that she was trying to bring some more joy into her life. She was going through some tough times. She had a, a 19 or 20 year old son who was going through some tough stuff and it had obviously been hard on her. And she had made this choice to do something that was really nice for herself, but was specifically joyful. 
and being part of a community of roller skaters that encourage each other, support each other, has really helped those people to find a place where they feel like they belong and where they're really seen. One thing that we like to say is that it's not about the roller skates. We really think that our business and our brand is about lifting people up, um, making them feel good about themselves, showing them how powerful they already are. We want to train more people to be coaches. We want to train more women to be business owners and entrepreneurs. So that's kind of like the big down the line vision for our business is like really using this, this brand and this business as a way to um, really make some big ripples.